Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and I want to do a solo playthrough of the Dark Monastery mission for a couple reasons. One, uh, to show you guys where the two triumphs are. One is that Odnum character, it's that knight who's always crouching down, you kind of got to find him. He's hiding in a few places around these uh, Dreaming City missions, and he is worth a triumph in each of those missions, so I want to show you where he's at. And then also each mission has a secret triumph. This one is a piece of lore, and unless you just know where to look... Well, I had no idea. I completely blew by it the first time, so I want to show you where that one is at as well. This is the mission that is on the third week of the three-week rotation, so it is when the Taken Curse is the strongest, and it's also when you'll find these giant floating black balls in the sky, the Taken is coming out of the ground, and all that fun stuff. So, that is when this mission is up. It's on week three of three for the three-week rotation. That all being said... Um, Autonym is about 580, and I know some of you guys may not be leveling that fast when you come up to this, so I'm going to run this thing at about 550, so you guys can basically see what it's like to do it at this level. This may not be the fastest run through, that's why I've had the timestamps on screen that you guys could see, and then also, of course, they're down in the description below. So if you want to just jump to the two triumph locations so you can see it, that's fine. If you want to see a solo playthrough of this at about 550, well, let's go ahead and jump into it. So here we go. All right, so time to uh, drop down and head on into the fun. So on this one, you kind of have to uh, take care of the ugly guy at the end. Now I am running with less than optimal build out, build out, load out, whatever you guys want to call your gun choices. Um, either way, definitely not an optimal build here. So forgive me if this is not what I would call like an amazing run, but we'll kind of do things as we go. I don't mind this bow. Actually, it's kind of fun to use, actually. Uh, but just running at a l relatively lower level for you guys in case you were jumping into this at a lower level. Some of you guys may be like, hey, this was really easy to do at like 590. And I'm like, indeed it is. But if you're jumping into this one, you're like 540. And you're like, can I do this thing? Yeah, you probably can. Now, autonom at 540 is probably going to be a bit difficult. But I can tell you, with some patience, it should be doable. That one's just going to be a really long fight. Um, there's no reason you won't do it. There's no time limit on these missions, so if you can do these pieces, you may as well knock them out. I'm trying to finish these guys off slowly. The one I really need to kill is in the back. We'll get back there. Oh, these little... Po these are one of these most annoying things I will say in the game. Those shielding totems are brutal, especially at the wrong point if you're dealing with something powerful. What you really want to kill is the big boy in the back. Agra the star stalwart. So... If I can get a nice little slam here, clear out a few, get a decent angle over here. Hi, what are you doing to me? Really? Just warping through. And those guys are able to stay under way too long, by the way. Kill these eyes so I don't get roasted. Even though it feels like I'm going to get roasted. So many totems. Oh my goodness. All right, totem people. Let's do this. Can you please fall down? Agra's still over there, I think. Alright, for the sake of finishing this cleanly, let's just be done with this section, because that was taking way too long. Apparently I'm not done. Because there's more guys spawning. Thanks. Are we really not done here? How about my auto rifle? Amazing as it is, it does take a little while to get some kills on. Yay, we killed stuff. All right, so the door is open. We can go inside. I apologize. That took way too long. You guys are like, wow, get to it. Sorry. It's kind of one of those times when you're running less than optimal, things do take a little longer. Random ads being the same level as you go down a little slower than when you're like 590. But if you guys were here for the full playthrough, you probably wanted to see what it's like if you're a relatively lower level. Around the corner we go into Harbringer Seclude. So we'll have some ads coming in. Of course, more Scorn, more Shielded Boys. Try and get a nice little slam here if I can get a decent angle on it. There we go. Get a grenade on him if I can help it. Nice, there we go. Let's 
Starting to work some stuff down. Watch the Screeb. They will explode and just, you know, ruin your whole lunch day. They just want to take your lunch money and don't really care how they do it. I mean, they didn't think about the long term because they're not really going to be able to do anything when they're dead too, but they're not really concerned about that. Oh, the warping away. Where are you at? It's like, be done with the warping. I mean, it does hit fairly hard. It's just not the most optimal for builds. Oh, what's up? You are a wizard and you guys hurt. You just have such big shields and such little health bars. All right, Guardians, so once you get to this location, this is the general area where Autonym is going to be at. He's actually going to be over on the right, so I will kind of put a clip here if you want to jump right ahead. But you're going to probably want to, especially if you're at a lower level, kill all the Sentinels and basically everything in this room before you start the Autonym fight because you're going to want to probably have a little bit of space to work with. So I usually go off to the left over here first, work these guys down, have some space, kind of clear out the stuff towards the top, and then work on the final part of the room later. These guys are just jumping around. This is a slow process. These Taken Seal guys, watch the back. You're going to have some Hobgoblins back there really just ruining your day overall. And so is it if you get caught on candles that are really going to mess you up. There, one. Come on, knight. Leave me alone. So Shadow Thrall. Scion. Main things to watch are just snipers in general. You guys know to watch out for those. Wizard in the back, I'll take care of you. I just want the Scions to quit splitting. Oh my goodness, I swear they cranked up the split factor to like 12. I've kind of figured out one thing that would actually use a hip fire uh, mod is a bow. I kept trying to wonder, I was like, hip fire. Two things, grenade launcher, maybe, because you might use that one. But really, I think a bow would probably be your best hip fire action. Stop spawning, no. Damn you, Hobgoblin. Thank you. Stop the Scion. Alright, now I can come over here and deal with you. I'm probably going to want to save some of my heavy ammo for a big boy in the back, so... See if I can deal with this a little more naturally. I mean, this bow's doing a pretty good chunk of damage. It's not like I'm at, like, the worst deficit in the world. But, you know. Can we be done? Thank you. One down. They are not really going to work with me today, are they? Not not really in the light, slightest. So we do have some scorn. I am saving my super for ugly. Just because I don't really want to deal with... Okay, these guys just keep coming. Good. Perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Maybe my slam can take care of a few. If I can get them collected. Like so. Nope. Not as good as I was hoping for. Alright. See? See? Hip fire, right there. Worked pretty well. Alright, so there's a uh, wonderful wizard up here. Trying not to use my heavy because I'm probably going to need it. There we go, those are down. If the scions can go away, this will get a little more simple. And we're coming up on the final room. Again, doing this at a lower level, remember. I'm not just terrible, it just takes a little while longer when you're underleveled. So once you get two down, apparently just the enemy spawn as you get two of these things down, you'll have more and more scorn to fight. Aim for that abomination first. Oh, I love how we have like a circle of shields over here. That's cute. And let's try and kill those guys. Gets to be a bit more tight quarters over here, so just be careful. Don't kind of walk into a tough spot if you don't have to. You can bail out the back, but just to give yourself a little bit of space, I would probably make sure you're kind of taking this stuff on where you have some cover to fight from. Save your grenade, save your super at this point. You're going to save it for big one if you are underleveled. Autonom is going to be worth every bit of damage you've got at something like this level. Somewhere up here there's actually a boss, I promise you. But the Scorn really are slowing my progress down. Well, this is about how this mission would go, so... Figured I'd give you guys a reasonable run of it. I honestly want to thank all of you guys if you're just sitting here watching this video. Just for all the support on my channel recently. It's honestly blowing me away how much you guys have exploded my channel. It's basically more than doubled in less than a month. And to me, that is absolutely insane. I mean, you know, from 8,000 to 18,000 may not be a lot to some. But for me, it's honestly huge. So thank you all very much for each and every one of your subscribers. 
subscriptions. Words are hard. Um, so, you've killed all three. You're over in this little tower. You're like, where's Autonym? Um, not somewhere you generally look, unless you just are exploring. But notice the little red part of the map, and there he is. So, let's see if I can get a nice little shot of him for a quick thumbnail. Trying to get a good shot of him, because it's not always the easiest. If you get much closer, he will definitely wake up. Now, as I said, he's going to be about 580, so this is where you're going to want to throw basically every absolute thing you can at him. Don't get too close. going to hurt quite a bit, so this is going to be a bit of a fun one. Um, we're going to go ahead and wake him up and poke the bear. So if you guys are joining us right now, in case you are wondering, uh, if you're in this little room where this little pillar's at, he is right behind the back wall, and here we go. So, he's angry now, which is not good. So, grenade to drop his shield, that's an important piece of it. You'll notice he is still going down reasonably. But, he is going to take a pretty good amount of damage, even at this level. I'm gonna basically empty my clip. Let's see what my super can do to him. Now, that'll do some good damage to him. Still didn't finish him, though. So, you guys can see, he does have a pretty good chunk of health. Really? I'm gonna finish him with my auto rifle. He's not overly painful, and again, if you need to back off, once you wake him up, he'll pretty much chase you wherever you go. So just be ready for him to chase you, and that is Autonym. So, from this room over here on the right, behind the big statue with the head on it. And we will head into the final part of this encounter. And you're going to have kind of a mini-boss to take care of, you're going to have some adds to kill, and then once you go into the Ascendant Plane, that is where the other Triumph will be. So if you want to skip ahead to that, again, the timestamps are down below. If you want to see this fight go down, well, you're more than welcome to watch. Don't have a whole lot to throw at this guy right now, but I am going to try and at least get a bit of a melee slam on there and kind of duck out. Get my grenade launcher reloaded so I can get some damage into Big Ugly. Not you. Maybe you. Alright, that went poorly. So here's where there are quite a few adds, so just be careful. Those Axiom Bolts are going to hurt. And again, so will he, depending on how much he gets on you. Okay, these guys being up close and personal, really, really making this fun. That's the best Axiom Bolts job ever, to take an entire grenade launcher's grenade. Good job, buddy. So, it's going to take a bit. I uh, might even pull back. And again, if you need to, pull back behind the big glowy ball. Now, you might have an Axiom Bolt come floating around, just know that. But otherwise, you will be a little safer back here as you work up to the fight. He is currently being shielded, so that makes life better. And Axiom Bolt. So he's down there. Let's see what my bow can do. Let's see if I can whittle him down. I mean, it hits him for 6,000, 3,000 a pop. So you're going to be able to do some good damage. So that's why, honestly, something like a Pulse Rifle, Bow... Scout Rifle's actually got a buff, 15%. I'm not quite sure if I'm sold on their, you know, total damage potential yet, but they are better, for sure. 15% is better than nothing. But why they got a 30% damage buff outside of, like, explosive rounds feeling like that was kind of broken for a few of them. But Scout Rifles just... I don't know. They don't feel as rewarding as they should be. For something that only gets so many hits, they should probably do a little bit more. Here's Archer's Tempo going to work. Be good if I could aim. I don't know if enemies actually stop spawning. i get my grenade over on him. If... Okay, just with the grenade. Perfect job. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Where's he at? Nope, couldn't even finish him with that. And that will be... Oh, 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 oh. Careful. If they push you into the big floaty ball, you can actually take some damage from that. But that should be... He's really not dead? Well, there we go. Now he's dead. Alright, Guardians, you guys will notice kind of an odd cut in there. I was going to try and replay the mission through just to give you guys a little bit of a cleaner run, but you guys are going to get the unedited version, so I jump back in and there's literally a checkpoint right here once you kill the boss. So we're going to go straight into the Ascendant Realm. The actual piece of lore is in here. So let's get it going. Now, just for a note, I did just try this a little bit ago, and my strafe lift jump did not work. So I would try and find some jump that actually gives you some height, because you are going to need it once we get up to this section. So once you come in here, 
instead of heading up towards the actual platform up there, you're going to want to jump on the rock structure that I'm jumping up here. So one separated rock and then up here, and then there's going to be a phalanx up top. You're going to want to kill him because he is going to want to knock you off. So be careful about it. If you can get it to spawn and then fall down so you have a little bit of a safer shot, that might not be a terrible idea. Kind of like I did there. So you don't get blasted off because what we need to do is jump over to that crystal. So you'll notice this one kind of peeking out towards it and then we're going to go up there. So let's see if we can get our high lift jump to actually get us up there. Not a problem at all. And then we're just going to traverse up these rocks. Apparently I also am terrible at jumping in this one. So sorry about that. Climb on up and here it is. So your lore will be on top of this thing. Another piece of Aham Carabones. Apparently my knee pad is in my view. That's wonderful. I'm trying to get a nice little screenshot of the Aham Carabones. There we go. And there it is. I'm not even going to try to say that word. Escatiate or something like that. And then you can just fall on down and then you'll finish up the mission. So this mission is kind of like a uh, make sure you know how to exit type mission. So just for sake of covering ground a little quicker, I will go back to my strafe jump just because I like that one a little more. It's the one I'm used to. But fall back down towards you kind of on those general normal platforms you were on and then we'll head up towards uh, where we need to go. So cross over here, head on up. You're going to see two wizards. Kind of looks like they're doing their little resurrection thing. Grenade will take care of them pretty quickly. Once their shields go down, you're going to want to shoot the crystal. My advice, honestly, shoot the crystal from as far as you honestly can. So if you back off a little bit, because as soon as you shoot it, you've actually got to leave. So as soon as that crystal dies, turn around and run as fast as you can. There we go. Stuff is going to start spawning, so be quick about it. It's usually not too bad. There are a couple blasters here and there, so just try and avoid the taking little blasters that are trying to shoot you about. And then go back through the portal and we'll finish it up. It's really not too bad. Just try and be ready to move, but the farther away you shoot it from, the better off you'll be. If you head almost back to where you spawned in with a sniper rifle, you can probably finish it up. I just don't know if you can quite get an angle. But that is a wrap. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Sorry it was kind of an off run. I wanted to redo it, but the game actually would not let me because it straight out checkpointed me. But uh, that does show you guys where the, the um, both kind of secret triumphs are going to be at for the mission Dark Monastery. Again, if you guys did enjoy the video, apparently I got a um, masterworked vouch safe. So I will look at that in another video. But thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like down below. Leave a comment to say hey. I do try and read all the comments. So of course I will try and reply if you got a question or anything. You can follow me on Twitch or Twitter, at Bontis on both of those. And then of course right here on YouTube. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Uh, definitely help me out. The growth has been awesome. So please keep supporting that one. And just because if you guys made it this far, you probably are justified. Unfortunately, that's got Rifle went to my Postmaster, so not for now. But thank you guys very much. You guys have been awesome, so keep the uh, support coming, and I will see you guys soon. Good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, wherever you are at around the world. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you in my next video, whatever that is going to be. Have a good one. See you soon.